Do contraceptive hormones affect women's desire and arousal? What is the importance of sexual education in young women? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started! Contraceptive hormones can affect women's sexual desire and arousal. Some women may experience changes in desire due to hormonal influences, but responses vary depending on the type of contraceptive and the individual. Sexual education in young women is essential to provide knowledge about anatomy, sexual health, prevention of sexually transmitted diseases, and consent. Promoting comprehensive and evidence-based sexual education can empower young women to make informed decisions and care for their sexual health. Abstinence culture. In some cultures and religions, sexual abstinence before marriage is a norm. However, attitudes toward abstinence have changed over time. Adventure and free spirit. Some women are attracted to men who are adventurous and willing to try new things. Age and orgasm. As women age, they often find it easier to reach orgasm. This is due to increased knowledge of their bodies and greater confidence in sexual intimacy. Ancient sex toys. Sex toys are not a modern invention. Ancient artifacts resembling dildos have been found in different cultures, suggesting that people have been exploring sexual pleasure for centuries. Authenticity. Being authentic and showing oneself without pretending to be someone else can be very attractive to many people. Breast size and desire. Studies have shown that there is no significant correlation between a woman's breast size and her ability to arouse sexual desire in others. Attractiveness is subjective and varies from person to person. The coitus interruptus method, involving withdrawing the penis before ejaculation to prevent pregnancy, is one of the least effective contraceptive methods. It is often called the withdrawal method. Common practice in partners of all orientations. Anal sex is not limited to heterosexual relationships. It is practiced and enjoyed by people of all sexual orientations. Confidence. Confidence is a trait that many people find attractive. Women are often drawn to men who demonstrate self-assurance in themselves and their actions. Cooking skills. Knowing how to cook and showing an interest in preparing delicious meals can be a pleasant surprise for many women. Couples therapy is an effective tool for addressing sexual issues and improving communication in a relationship. It can help couples overcome challenges and strengthen their emotional connection. Delayed ejaculation. Some men may experience delayed ejaculation, meaning they have difficulty reaching orgasm during sexual intercourse. This can be due to emotional or physical factors. Different types of orgasm. Some women report different types of orgasms, such as clitoral, vaginal, or G-spot orgasms. The orgasm experience can vary depending on the type and stimulation. Diversity of sexual orientations. Sexual orientation is diverse and goes beyond heterosexuality. It includes orientations such as homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality, and many others. Each person has their own unique orientation. Empathy. The ability to show empathy and understanding towards the feelings and needs of others can be an attractive trait in a man. Erectile dysfunction in women. While primarily associated with men, erectile dysfunction can also affect some women. This refers to difficulty in maintaining clitoral erection. Sexual therapy can be helpful in such cases. Erotic dreams are common and can trigger sexual arousal during sleep. Sometimes, erotic dreams reflect sexual desires or fantasies. Expressive eyes. Eyes are a central feature in attraction. Expressive eyes and good eye contact can be particularly attractive. The fear of oral sex, known as patholophobia, is a condition in which a person experiences intense and irrational fear of oral sex. It can be treated with therapy. Fetishes are atypical sexual interests including a wide range of objects, body parts, or situations. Fetishes are common and can be a healthy part of a person's sexual life if approached consensually and safely. Financial security. Having financial stability and the ability to plan for the future can be attractive to some women. The frenulum, the strip of tissue connecting the glands to the body of the penis, is highly sensitive and can be a source of pleasure during sexual activity. 
Generosity. Being generous and willing to help others can be a very attractive quality. Highly sensitive area. The area around the anus contains numerous nerve endings, making it a highly sensitive and pleasurable zone for many women. Hygiene. Hygiene is important before engaging in any sexual activity, including anal sex. Some people choose to shower beforehand to feel more comfortable. Influence of alcohol on sex, alcohol can impact sexual life. While a moderate amount can reduce inhibition and increase relaxation, excessive alcohol can negatively affect sexual function. Influence of pornography. Pornography has had a significant impact on sexual expectations and sexual education for many individuals. It can be a source of inspiration, but may also create unrealistic expectations about sex and relationships. Influence of social media on sexuality, social media can influence body perception, sexual expectations, and communication in relationships. It is also used to connect with diverse sexual communities. Intelligence. Many women value intelligence and the ability to engage in interesting and meaningful conversations. Kegel, not just for women. Kegel exercises, involving the contraction and relaxation of pelvic floor muscles, are not exclusive to women. Men can also benefit from them to improve sexual health and control. Late sexual awakening. Some individuals experience a late sexual awakening in adulthood, meaning they develop a heightened interest in sexuality after years of little or no interest. Lubrication is essential. Since the anus doesn't naturally lubricate like the vagina, it's crucial to use lubricants to prevent friction and reduce the possibility of irritation. Men in relationships tend to masturbate more than singles. This is because regular sexual activity can increase testosterone levels, thereby boosting sexual desire. This cycle is an interesting phenomenon that illustrates the relationship between sexual activity and body chemistry. Masturbation in the elderly. Masturbation knows no age limit. Older individuals can also enjoy self-exploration and sexual satisfaction throughout their lives. Multiple female orgasms. Some women experience multiple orgasms in a single sexual session. This may result from increased sensitivity and the ability to maintain sexual desire after the first orgasm. Multiple pathways. While clitoral stimulation is a common way to achieve a female orgasm, some women may experience orgasms through stimulation of other areas, such as nipples or the G-spot. Myths about masturbation. There are many myths about masturbation, such as it causing blindness or hair on the hands. These myths are unfounded and lack scientific basis. Need for relaxation. Relaxation is key for a pleasurable experience. The anal sphincter must relax to allow comfortable and enjoyable penetration. Orgasm and aging. Although sexual response may change with age, many older individuals continue to enjoy an active sex life and satisfying orgasms. Orgasm through thought, rarely. Some people can experience an orgasm through thought without physical stimulation. This is called mental orgasm or contactless orgasm. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.